Good afternoon, fellow Toastmasters, officers, members, and guests. I'm always excited to stand up here and give a speech. I had the honor of attending the training in Baltimore. I'm the secretary of this club, the officer training, and I received lots of valuable information that I would like to impart to the club. There's something that's known as the forgotten books. That would be these two books. <laughs> when you sign up as a member, fill out your application, pay your dues, you receive these two books in the mail. One is the competent communicator book, the other one's the competent leader book. I'll first talk about the competent communicator book. There are 10 speeches in this book, and they tell you a little bit about the speech, what your objective is, how long the speech should be. When you come in to give a speech, you're going to give your book to whoever is going to evaluate you. They will complete this. It is for your eyes only. Before you leave the meeting, you will want to give your book to the Vice President of Education, who is Elise, who, uh, I mean, who's Chayla, who's actually not here right now. If the Vice President of Education is not here, another officer can sign off that you have completed your speech. This is very important. And if it's not done here, don't worry. It's not done in a lot of clubs. But the district governor, Lynn Adams, wants to change that. The second book is the competent leader manual. You can actually work on both of these at the same time. There's a little trick to it, which I'll explain. In the beginning, you have a list of things that need to be accomplished in order to complete a project. You do not have to go in this order. You can actually just complete one down here, like I, I completed the webmaster, so project 10 is completed for me. And I got Laura to sign off on it, an officer. When you are fulfilling one of these positions as timer, you will want to go to the section, project section, and where it says timer, hand your book to someone in the room so that they can evaluate you. This is for your eyes only and your benefit. If you're giving a speech, you cannot get credit for being the timer or tabletops topics master, tabletop uh, toastmaster of the day. The only time that you can get credit in both books at the same time is if you are a speaker, and then you will get credit in project four and five as a speaker. That's the only time that you get, can get credit in both books. The very common question was, well, I've been Toastmaster like 18 times, and I didn't bring my book, and no one signed off. Can I get credit for it? And our district governor said no. She said, you must start bringing your books in and get them signed off. That's procedure. This is all going to change very soon. I have put together our new website, which will go live within the next 30 days. You will go to the website every week and look at the agenda. When I send out the email, you'll create your profile. I encourage you to put a picture. I brought my camera to take a picture of anyone who needs a picture. You will go to the website, to the meeting, and it says sign up. So if you want to give a speech, you'll click sign up. Your picture and your profile will be attached. If you're going to be the Toastmaster, you sign up. If two hours before the meeting you can't show up, at the bottom is a place for you to cancel 
and put your reason there. This is really important because all of this information is linked to headquarters. So headquarters will know who actually gave speeches and how many times someone was a Toastmaster. So when the, at the end of the book, when you fill out your application, you've completed everything and sent it in, the headquarters will have something to reference off of, which is the website. I really hope that this information was helpful. And if there's anything that I can do to assist someone with their Toastmaster experience, please don't hesitate to let me know. And I thank you for your time. <laughs>